Well, who do you like, Chief? Well, it's uh, March 4th and Cuban Cowboy in the 5th. Good. Hey, no nuts. No nuts. Turn on my Nicky River show. Can it, bitch. Come on. All right. Kids Who Kill on today's Nikki River Show. <laughs> today's show is a shocker. I'm sure you're all aware of the rising rate at which young people are killing each other. Today you will meet those children and together we will come and try to solve this problem. Please say hello to our guests, Tez, Dope, and Mouse. So, Tez, tell us about your first kill. Uh, you know, it was, it was just some bullshit. I had to shoot this fool. And did you feel pain at his loss? Nah, no pain. I don't got time for pain. I do not feel pain. You do not feel pain? Nah. What do you feel? I feel the need to spray some motherfuckers sometimes. To spray them, and by that you mean to shoot them? Pop them up. Pop them up? Yeah. And do you ever think about their families, their mothers, their fathers? Nope. Give me a break. Nothing. I can't watch this shit anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, the world is gonna end soon. These fucking kids are nuts. No shit. They got no sense of humanity. You got no sense. <laughs> now, our generation had morals, values, friggin' balls. We didn't solve problems with guns. Damn right. She had, you know I'm right. This crap didn't go on when we were young. Doesn't surprise me, the goddamn feminist revolution. They're throwing the fathers out of the home. There's nobody in there to kick these kids' asses anymore. Mm, damn straight with that. Shut up, asshole. Oh, shut up yourself. Thank you. That's the kind of hooker I'm used to. Ten for a suck, twenty for a fuck. Now, I'm sure those prices don't apply to a lovely young lady like yourself. Well, tonight's your lucky night. I'm having a special. I got a room right around the corner. How do I know you're not the police? Is that proof enough? I gotta use the pisser. I don't 
fail me now, you little son of a bitch. Chief, you look like shit. What happened to you? Uh, just a hassle with some goddamn drunk. Yeah, clean yourself up. The fuck you looking at, asshole? Yeah, that's right. Hey, numbnuts. Let's turn the news on. You always have to be such a bitch. Let's turn it on. Right. Another incident of gang violence. One teenager and two adults were shot in a drive-by shooting last night. All three were taken to the hospital and treated for their injuries. Police believe the suspects are from a rival gang. In some other news in downtown, police are releasing few details about a murdered prostitute. She was found severely stabbed and beaten. There are no suspects as of now. Police say if anyone has any information to call the police department. You know this broad? No. Uh, I thought maybe, but no. Give me another. Seven G's. Who? Floyd. It's for you. Hello? Hey, baby. I guess you're just gonna let me bleed to death, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. 
Bye. Still breaking hearts, huh, Chief? Yeah. Yeah? It's for Mr. Wonderful again. Yes. Ooh, what a temper. I can't believe you just leave me there to die. Lady, you got the wrong guy. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Give me my expose show. All right, all right. Tonight on Expose. Are you afraid of the punk on the corner? Miss the old days when people were decent and the streets were safe. Do you know what your father is doing right now? You'll be shocked to know the truth behind today's father figure as Exposé investigates this week's episode of Morality on Trial. Our investigative team sent out a decoy prostitute and waited until she was approached by the subject of tonight's experiment, a middle-aged man. Our agent took him to her room where the subject solicited sex from her. Unbeknownst to our subject, we gave the man a mild sedative to make him sleep. Unexpectedly, the man became violent, but fortunately, the sedative took effect, and we then staged tonight's test, the murder of a prostitute. When the subject woke up, he saw the woman lying dead next to him. Shockingly, his first reaction was not to call for help or even to try and revive her. Instead, he recouped his money and fled the scene. The truly disturbing element in tonight's story of social decay lays in our subject's lack of remorse. He failed to respond to either our planted coverage of the staged murder or, shockingly, even to a phone call from the victim herself. Lady, you got the wrong guy. As you can hear for yourself, no remorse, no confession. <laughs> Starlight and dewdrops are waiting for thee. Sounds of the rude world. 